everyone in this session we're going to be talking about delay so what exactly is delay so do you uh, do you know why we uh, use delay so delay is nothing but it's basically it's uh, very simple so you would it's kind of like a wait so you would want to wait for uh, let's say five seconds ten seconds right before uh, you want to start uh, another task let's say uh, you are browsing right you opened a page and you want to wait for five seconds ten seconds something and then you want to open another web page or do something it's just just like waiting it's kind of like sleep or something so you have sleep right so let's see an example then probably you can understand right uh, let's just say let's take an um, demo so let's just let me open an uh, uh, let's say we will see launch website right so let's just drag and drop and uh, let's just say uh, first of all let me check if I can access the net or not so uh, first thing you need to understand is the automation anywhere by default supports the Internet Explorer and you can see uh, other settings as well let's say if you want to change the settings on how it opens and other stuff right that can be done for the for that thing you need to go to the plugins so just go here uh, to the tools right and go to options right and you can see uh, just go to the plugin settings web recorder sorry web recorder then plugin settings there are two things plugin uh, web recorder first let's talk about plugin so in the plugin you can see here internet explorer then a uh, lot of other things are there you can see some applications are installed where uh, if you see the tick mark in the green it means that that particular thing has been installed and uh, if you want to use chrome you can use it as you can see here chrome is already installed right and um, any other application also if you want to use it <coughs> sorry uh, then you can use it so let's say if you want to automate any java based application then that also you can do it so first you need to install the java jre and let's say if you want to work on flex or silverlight then first just go and install it once it is installed then you can use it it's quite simple so right now let's uh, you can see that we're going to be using the ie internet explorer right so you can also on if there are any issues you can always uninstall and reinstall that fixes most of the issues with internet explorer right so that's the thing about this uh, plugins right and uh, let's move on to this particular thing launch website just uh, let's just put a particular url and these are the settings for your local applications right so you can see the web recorded settings where you can say that it needs to wait uh, internet explorer timeout so how much time it's going to wait like um, uh, 240 seconds here you can change it right so that's the particular thing and uh, any kind of plugin as i've already explained right if you whatever plugin you want to add you can add right so just install it will be done okay and uh, let's just see a particular demonstration then probably you can understand more just uh, then just launch the url uh, okay now let's uh, what we'll do is just drag and drop the delay let's just put a delay of five seconds then uh, you can understand right so this is the geo bikes uh, box how it looks like there are two types of delay as you can see regular delay right uh, this is that's nothing but the static delay right so you specify how much time you need to wait either in milliseconds or in seconds right so if uh, in you, you can see by default it's in milliseconds so in this example it's in 50 milliseconds so let's say if you want to uh, implement five seconds of delay so just change it to five here regular delay five click on delay in seconds now I've got a delay in seconds that's how it's configured delay of five seconds that's how it's configured right uh, quite simple very easy now let's say if you want to delay of five milliseconds let's see how that's done regular delay five milliseconds so now we have a delay of five milliseconds right right so simple right so now let's say if you if i want to uh, put a dynamic delay that's nothing but the random delay so i want uh, uh, 
um, want to give a delay uh, which is not fixed right so which can change so just select on this uh, choose the minimum uh, amount maximum amount amount that's nothing but from two that is between one to five so any random number between one to five and in click on seconds then save right so now any random number from one to five it means two three four five right can be anything right uh, whenever you run it it will change it right so for example if you run it now it, it might be one two three four depends so if you can also do it in milliseconds right so from one uh, one hundred it can be anything right so it's quite useful you will see so that's it guys that's it about uh, this session on the delay thanks for watching uh, check out the next session thank you very much